Sefer Seret is a suburb on the outskirts of Jerusalem with a predominantly Jewish population. Yet it's here that the joint list, a coalition of four Arab parties, is campaigning tonight. These candidates are seeking to attract Jewish voters, especially those opposed to Israel's drift to the right. It, it gives me hope that we can maybe build some kind of a new uh, political movement in Israel that will give room for Jews and Arabs to live in the future in better uh, partnership between the communities. In face of hate and div uh, racism and division, what we need is unity and all kind of unities and the joint list is a good uh, way to go. But Ofer Kassif and other joint list candidates aren't holding mass rallies. This is how they plan to win Jewish votes. In order to convince people to vote for us, the best way is like we did today, is to sit with a few people, talk to them and try to explain why we are better. In the, among the Arabs it's totally different. If there is any hesitation among the Arabs, it's not between the joint list and other parties, but between the joint list and not voting. The Israeli Arab parties went their separate ways in the elections earlier this year and did poorly. Now they've reunified and hope this new joint list will increase turnout amongst their voters. But once elected, life isn't easy for Arab lawmakers in the Knesset. They are unable to do their job properly. Their bills are being rejected. We have uh, a few examples of bills that were issued and had nothing to do with a Palestinian issue. They were a completely civilian issue that were introduced by Palestinian members of the Knesset and they were rejected and then copy-pasted, introduced by Jewish members of the Knesset and then they passed. Some lawmakers claim this lack of respect is the reason Israeli Arab voter turnout is so low.